Hello everybody, welcome to another installment on my Peppers and Tomatoes 2012. The first thing I'd like to show you today is my compost, which has been going for five months now, since mid-March. It finally looks really good, but it's too late to use this year. But I'll just show you, and I will definitely use it next year. I don't know how easy it is to see, but uh, this can used to be full up to the top, and uh, this is what's left. And uh, this is how I turn it now with this pitchfork. Looks really good, really loose. It's hardly recognizable. Uh, I'm really happy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use probably, uh, oh, I don't know. I'll use most of it, but I'll keep some of it in here uh, so I can keep the beneficial bacteria going. And uh, I'll start composting again as soon as I can get, get this out of here. And that's my plan, and I'm, I've decided that composting is something I would like to do. So uh, all it takes is a cheap garbage can. Although maybe later I will probably uh, make a better system. But for now, this does just fine. Okay, so on with the tomato and pepper update. My black cherries, we've been getting a good crop of those. Probably the best... Um, plant for tomatoes this year didn't suffer from the heat like the other ones did it's providing me with a lot of good cherry tomatoes and these cherry tomatoes have like the most intense tomato flavor uh, I'd recommend black cherry tomato to anybody still a lot of green ones up here um, I forget, you know, I forgot what some of these varieties are now, but uh, you can see a couple ripe ones in there I'm going to be picking here. Uh, my Purple Beauty peppers, still growing strong. I'd recommend that one to anybody, too. Uh, just keeps producing and producing, and uh, it's wonderful. Anaheim Chili, uh, that one suffered this year. Um, the Blossom End Rot was pretty bad on that one. The peppers aren't very big. Uh, there's a couple of big ones in there, but uh, so far they've been really small. So there's still some time in the season, so I'll probably be able to get something out of it, but uh, not nearly as good as it has been in the past years. Uh, Giant Marconi, that one also suffered. Uh, my yield is way down on the Giant Marconi. But like I say, I still have some time. I'll probably be able to get some, and I blame the heat. Uh, jalapenos. This one was not affected by the heat or by blossom end rot. Um, this is Ixtapa. And this thing just keeps producing and producing. I mean, next year I might just grow one plant because this is too many jalapenos for me to handle. Uh, red Marconi it doesn't get as big as a giant Marconi. Um, that one had suffered too, but like I say, I still got time in the season and these will probably end up producing still. Uh, Jamaican hot chocolate, doing good, a uh, lot of green peppers in there, and uh, it's going to be plenty enough for me, for one guy. Uh, I'll remind you that there's three plants in this uh, container, and it doesn't seem to me to have done any, um, any bad uh, thing. Um, yeah, you can see this one's brown, getting brown, nice. It uh, won't be long until I can uh, pick these. But I'm really satisfied with how they did too. The heat didn't seem to affect them as bad. And uh, as far as I know, no blossom end rot on that one either. So, another look at uh, Giant Marconi, which I've picked a few. Um, I'll show you what I've got later here. Nowhere near as much as I had last year. Sorry, that was red Marconi. This is the giant Marconi here. And, uh, not much to see. Uh, Roma style tomato, rocky paste tomato. Doing pretty good, actually. Uh, that one had minimal, um, it's, it suffered leaf curl, but it had minimal, um, problems with, uh, blossom end rot. 
and uh, I um, in my <clears throat> in my past videos here I've made a mistake I called this one pineapple and I called this one over here uh, black trifoli but I was wrong I, I forgot so this is black trifle and this is about the size you get for these tomatoes um, oh purple beauty if you forget a pepper you, uh, they eventually they, they go from purple to green to red so that one's gonna have to come off today I'm gonna be making stuffed uh, peppers for uh, lunch or dinner sometime soon here and this is the pineapple tomato um, this plant I had two plants one plant didn't produce anything and this plant this plant produced one really nice tomato I mean this thing is picture perfect um, it's huge so I'm gonna pick that today and I'll show you what that looks like off the vine um, it's got a little one here and a sort of a medium sized one in there too but that's it so I won't be planting um, pineapple tomato anymore here's my first prize tomatoes I have already picked off several obviously this one's got to come off here today um, this is a tomato hybrid that I would recommend to anybody first prize really good done really good for me again I, I forgot what uh, variety this was um, but it's an heirloom and can you see this uh, this cat facing here I basically decided this year that I am uh, not going to grow any heirloom tomatoes next year next year for me as an experiment I'm gonna grow all hybrids because in this small space I can't afford to have one tomato on a plant and the first prize it produced and produced and it's still got more coming and so um, in a couple other videos I've seen um, people grow a variety called big beef tomato and I think I'm gonna grow that one for sure next year uh, I will definitely grow first prize again next year and I'll definitely grow my black cherries again next year but other than that I'm gonna find some more uh, varieties uh, hybrids so anyway there's not much left to say on the tomatoes here uh, I'll pick these and then maybe I'll show you what they look like off the uh, plant and I've got one more thing I want to show you here um, I saw somebody's video and I don't remember the name of the uh, YouTube channel offhand I'm going to put it up right now and this is the person that showed me this uh, trick and I I just loved it I love the idea of it I went to the uh, Minneapolis farmers market this is my food dehydrator by the way I went to the Minneapolis farmers market yesterday and bought a big batch of uh, Roma tomatoes because they have the least amount of uh, juice and uh, this whole dehydrator is filled up like this uh, I think the tomatoes costed me like five bucks something like that but um, I'm gonna make tomato powder and uh, like I say I will direct you your attention to this other person's web uh, YouTube channel and you can see the video yourself it's uh, really cool so I'll let her do all the explaining on that but I'm just gonna tell you that I'm making this these Roma tomatoes I'm making into tomato powder and it's good for a lot of things again I'll let her describe it all for you she did a good job so I'll let her do it anyway that's all I want to show you okay so here's my harvest for today so far it's the largest harvest that I've had and we'll start out with the pineapple tomato the, the tomato itself is gorgeous and I'll bet it's gonna taste really good and it's huge I got one pound point eight ounce tomato right here <clears throat> the biggest one I've had this year uh, this one sort of has a um, you see how it's kind of orange mixed in with yellow like that and uh, 
I think that's going to get deeper though. But uh, that's the natural color. It's not all orange. It's sort of a yellowy, uh, mottled orange. Um, like I said, I'm not growing it again because one tomato for two plants, that's ridiculous. Here's my first prize. This is my first prize. Uh, two, I got two today. Um, I pick my tomatoes usually when they start turning color like this. Uh, I don't want, you don't want to leave them on the vine too long because if you do, they get ripe really fast and then they, yeah, they just, they get ripe too fast. I mean, uh, if you want to be able to use these, um, pick them when they're still a little bit green and it slowed out, slows down their uh, ripening a little bit. But gorgeous tomato first prize, this is one I would recommend. Um, in contrast, I just told you that I'm not going to be growing heirlooms next year, and this is part of the reason why. I mean, <clears throat> you see these high shoulders? I don't like that. And this cat facing, I don't like that. I mean, the tomato probably tastes wonderful, I'm sure. But, you know, what am I supposed to do with this? You only get like three good slices out of a tomato like this. And it's the same thing. I mean, this is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do with that? So, uh, all hybrids for me next year. This is that Purple Beauty. I picked that one. I'll mention again really quick. The, the color on peppers is just extremely vivid. Um, if, even if I didn't eat them, I think I would like to grow them just for the color. But uh, Purple Beauty, I would recommend that one. It's a nice size, too. It's, you could stuff that, no problem. And uh, I think this is my early wonder. I'm not sure. They're all right, you know. But I'd rather have plants with tomatoes that look like this instead. So I'm not going to grow. I'm not going to mess around with that anymore. It's going to be big beef, first prize, and maybe one more um, uh, type of hybrid that's big. Here's my black cherries. Again, I'd recommend that to anybody. They taste wonderful extreme tomato flavor uh, if that's what you're looking for and then uh, I, I told you my Anaheim's suffered this year the heat they got blossom end rot really bad um, I still want to try a New Mex Big Jim style um, but if you saw one of my past videos I think they sent me the wrong seeds and I um, I went back to Anaheim this year but uh, I'm gonna try and get me some New Mex Big Jims because they're supposed to get like 12 inches long but anyway, there's my harvest right now. This is some of what I've harvested before today. Purple Beauty. Uh, I think this is a red Marconi. And these are giant Marconis. They're big. If you saw my video from last year, uh, you'll see just how big these things can get. But uh, I like this variety. Uh, just a couple tomatoes, one of those rocky, first one that was uh, ripe, and uh, black trifle. Haven't tasted this one yet. And some more red Marconi here. I just wanted to show you really quick what I've had so far. Uh, I'm going to be firing up the grill and I'm going to be um, taking, uh, I'm going to be scorching them and taking the skins off and then uh, freezing them. So uh, I did. A video on that last year so if you want to see how I use the grill to uh, get the skins off these peppers and then preserve them you can check that out I'll post the, um, the video up for you and I think that's all I've got to say so uh, and uh, I, I don't know if I have too much to say about um, tomatoes and peppers anymore I might make another video but uh, the amount of things that I can say about it now are, are starting to go down, so, um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.